have all of thy being. Yes. Truly we do give honor to the Lord for this Holy Spirit in this place. Yes. Oh, I bring you greetings from Stoke Hill Missionary Baptist Church where everybody is somebody. And Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. And truly today is one of those days where you can look back and say, I need the old. Every hour of every day, I need the old to walk with me. And I need him to talk with me. Amen. Not to prolong the service. Standing all over the building, we're getting ready to read the word of God. Ask that you turn with me to Psalms, the 51st chapter. me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Amen. Reading that again. Create in me a clean heart yes. and renew a rightful spirit within me. Do not cast me away from thy presence and do not take thy Holy Spirit away from me. While you're still standing, a quick word of prayer, Father and our God. We pray right now, God, that you decrease your manservant and let him increase in you, God. We pray for this way, congregation, that your word finds in us all a lodging place. God, I, I pray that this body would be edified, your name be glorified, and that the devil would be horrified. In Jesus' wonderful name, let the redeemed of the Lord say amen. Amen. I like to focus on the subject. Oh Lord, I need your spirit. All right. yeah. Yes, sir. Oh Lord, I need your spirit. Yes, sir. If we examine Psalms 51 up until the 11th verse, we find out that this particular chapter of the book of Psalms is when the prophet Nathan came to David after the fact that David had just committed adultery with Bathsheba. All right. We find out that all in this chapter, David is asking God to wash away all his iniquity and to cleanse him from all the sin because he realizes that he committed adultery with Bathsheba, but it wasn't the right thing to do. He realized that no matter how good she was looking as he looked out the window and watched her bathe, it still wasn't the right thing to do. That's right. He realized no matter how much her hair was looking good, no matter how much her body looked good as he watched her, it still wasn't the right thing to do. Amen. We find out today in the church that no matter how something attracts our eye, no matter how the smell of something attracts us, or no matter how something may look to us, right is right. And wrong is wrong. Amen. Oh, Holy Lord. But if you look at the 11th verse, I, I want to focus on that today. And that verse says, do not cast me away from your presence or take your Holy Spirit within me. And in that verse, I get the subject, oh Lord, I need your spirit. Yes, sir. But if you examine that verse, this sermon is self-explanatory. Right. Because after David committed all this adultery, he asked God to forgive him for that. And he asked God not to take the spirit within him. Amen. Oh my God. But, but, but just out of nowhere, David comes along and asks this. Amen. But, but, but what I'm trying to get you to understand uh, is why would David ask God not to take a spirit within him if he didn't need it? All right. What we need to understand about this verse is that it's just like our human nature. Yes, Even though we may not physically see the spirit each and every day, right. there comes a time in everybody's life yes, when the spirit of the Lord within you can't be taken because you actually need it. All right. You might say, well, preacher, what do you need this spirit for? Well, there are two ways you're going to need this spirit. One way that you're going to need this spirit is to be a guide. It's a shame that it seems like the people of God have no 
no guidance. All right, all right. I ain't gonna get no help up in here. Right. It's a shame that the people of God are blindfolded yes, by sir. the enemy. Yes, sir. It's a shame that the people of God are blinded on this journey. Yes, sir. It's a shame that the people of God have been blindfolded by the folk in the church. Yes, sir. It's a shame that the people of God have been blinded by the things on the outside. Right. I get so tired of folk coming to church, uh, hooping and hollering on the inside. Yes, sir. But then you check
your church. Oh my God, that, that, that just don't want God. Uh, they come to church every Sunday because it's tradition. Uh, uh, oh, Grandma and Granddad said it was the right thing to do. Uh, oh, my uh, mom and Daddy said it was the right thing to do. Uh, uh, oh, every time they get up to pray, it's the same old prayer. Uh, every time they get up to read scripture, it's the same old scripture. But every now and then, uh, when you got God's keeping power, there ought to be a shift in the way you walk. Uh, a protectional device. The Spirit can protect us from anything we come against. Amen. The Spirit can lead us. The Spirit can guide us. But most of all, the Spirit can be there. All in the midnight hours Amen. of the night. Amen. The Spirit can be there. Yes. Oh my God, all those times your pillow was filled with tears. Yes. The Spirit can be there. Yes. Oh my God, every time folk turn to get you, the Spirit can be there. Yes. Oh my God, every time folk talk about you, the Spirit can be there. Yes. Every time your back was against the law, the Spirit can be there. Yes. Every time you had no money in your pocket, oh, the Spirit can be there. Yes. Oh my God, so when folk talk about you, look up to heaven and say, oh Lord, I need your Spirit. Yes. When folk scandalize your name, look up to heaven and say, oh Lord, I need your Spirit. Yes. Look up to hell and say, oh Lord, I need your spirit. When it seems like the bill collectors keep on calling, look up to hell and say, oh Lord, I need your spirit. When it seems like the foreclosure sign is on your front door, look up to hell and say, oh Lord, I need your spirit. When it seems like family members walk out on your own. Oh my God, the, the, the sun, I don't know if you know or not, 
But the sun, we revolve around the sun. Now, and if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be revolving around the sun. Now, yeah. So every time it's a sunny day outside, I say, Lord, I thank you. Because just like the particle sun, as the sun rises and you give me breath in my body to rise, yes, I say thank you thank for you. the good man the other way. Yes. Black is for the sin we made. Oh my God, I don't know about you, but we serve a forgiving God. Amen. Every time you do something out of the will of God, God comes and he forgives us. Amen. God comes and he changes us around. God comes and he, he just messes us all up because he picks us up and he turns us around Amen. and he places our feet on solid ground. He, he forgives us because that the way to those sin is dead. But the gift of God is eternal. Amen. Amen. Why is for the grace he gave? Oh my God, we serve a graceful God. Every time we turn around, God keeps on blessing us. Every time we turn around, God is motivating us. Every time we turn around, God is giving us favor. That's nothing but His grace. Amen. Purple is for our, His hour of sorrow. Not only His hour of sorrow, but our hour of sorrow. There's going to be times when your pillow is filled with tears. There's going to be times when your back is against the wall. Like the enemy has your children. But just for that, God has given you the purpose. He has given you the strength for your hour of sorrow. Amen. God will be there in the time of your trouble. Amen. Peak is for our new tomorrow. Tomorrow we wake up with you. We thank God for the breath He gave us and we thank God for everything He's done for us. But that's for our new tomorrow. Not saying that tomorrow we're going to wake up, but I'm saying I'm new tomorrow. When we get to heaven, the Sabbath has no end. Amen. When God said, come unto me, all who eat that live, and I'll give you rest. Amen. When we get over there, he said, well done, my good and faithful servant. Yeah. You have been faithful over a few things. Yeah. Now I'll make you rule over me. Amen. That's our new tomorrow. Amen. Amen. God has shown us favor. I don't know about you, but through his spirit, God has shown us favor. Favor. Yes. Please, the enemy can't mess with us any kind of way because God has shown us favor. The devil can't send objects our way that we can't defeat because God has shown us favor. Amen. It's a lot to get favor from God. It's a lot to get favor from man. But when you get favor from God, yes. it makes a difference. Yes. Yes. So on today, as you journey through life, as you journey through the obstacles of life, no matter what comes your way, you have in your mind, oh Lord, I need your spirit. Yeah. Every day I walk, yeah. every day I talk, yeah. every move I make, yeah. every strength I take, yeah. do it in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, I thank you yes. for your spirit. Yeah. Don't be like David. David was a man. He was a king of David, and yeah, he looked out to and as he looked out and asked her to bathe, he went in and had committed adultery with this woman. Amen. No good and well, it wasn't his wife, but he did. And as the man came home, he, he tried to persuade the man to go over there and do whatever he had to do with his wife to cover up for David's sin. But see, this is what I like about the, uh, the Bathsheba's husband. Bathsheba's husband, there wasn't no food. And as he said, he said, my men are out there to war. How can I sit up in here and have sex with my wife when my men are out there at war? I need to be praying for them. I need to be lifting up holy hands for them. All right. Amen. So when he went back to war, David went and got the commander of the war and he said, put him in the heat of the fire and draw back your men. See, sometimes that's what the enemy does. When he can't get you one way, he goes to get the person above you. Put him in the heat of the war and draw back your men. But see, this is what I like about God. God put a guard around his yes, life. Yes, yes. Even though sometimes I'm not putting in the heat of the war, God puts a guard around yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why David had to confess to God. God, I committed sin. God, I done wrong. Yeah, See, sometimes that's what we got to do. Right? Yeah. When we try to cover our, our mess up and yes. God doesn't let us cover it up, but sometimes we just need to fall flat on our face yeah. and say, God, I committed sin. Yeah. I admit I did this. I admit I done that. But God created in me a clean spirit yes. and renew. The right of the spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, but keep me there. Yeah. Don't
don't take your spirit away from me. Keep me under your wing. Keep me under what you would have me to do. Lord, walk with me. Lord, talk with me. Lord, do what you want to do in my life. That's what we need to do. Stop moaning and groaning about our situation. You are the one that's putting yourself in that predicament. Stop doing what you're doing and start doing what Christ wants you to do. Maybe it would be a lot easier. Maybe things would go a lot smoother. Amen. Amen. I've given you what God has given me. He told me to tell you on today, oh Lord, I need your spirit. Whatever I'm going through, oh Lord, I need your spirit. Standing all over the building, we're getting ready to do the invitation of God. God wants you to do. He wants you to lift up your hands. And he wants you to tell God. He wants you to tell the Spirit. Spirit, when it seems like 
allowed Jesus to give us favor through colors. Preacher, what do you mean by colors? Red is for the blood he gave. Oh my God, I don't know about you, but, 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 but every time I think about, oh, when Jesus shed his blood, every drop of blood he shed was for me. As they beat him with the slip, as they put a crown of thorns on his head, every bit of blood he shed was for me. Yes. Green is for the grass he made. I don't know about you, but every time I think about it, uh, when I walk out on the grass, uh, I walk around and say, thank you, Jesus. Uh, because it could have been the other way. Uh, I could have been hushed up in death. Uh, I could have had no breath in my body. Uh, but God so fit to let me Hallelujah. walk on the green grass. Yes. Yellow is for the sun so bright. Oh, my God. The, 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 the sun, I don't know if you know or not. But the sun, we revolve around the sun. Now, and if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be revolving around the sun. Now, yeah. So every time it's a sunny day outside, I say, Lord, I thank you. Because just like the particle sun, as the sun rises and you give me breath in my body to rise, yes, I say thank you. Thank you. Yeah. The other way. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Black is for the sin we made. Oh my God, I don't know about you, but we serve a forgiving God. Amen. Every time we do something out of the will of God, God comes and he forgives us. Amen. God comes and he changes us around. God comes and he, he just messes us all up because he picks us up and he turns us around Amen. and he places our feet on solid ground. He, he forgives us without and that the way to those sin is dead. But the gift of God is eternal. Amen. Amen. Why is for the grace he gave? Oh my God, we serve a graceful God. Every time we turn around, God keeps on blessing us. Every time we turn around, God is motivating us. Every time we turn around, God is giving us favor. That's nothing but His grace. Amen. Purple is for our, His hour of sorrow. Not only His hour of sorrow, but our hour of sorrow. There's going to be times when your pillow is filled with tears. There's going to be times when your back is against the wall. Like the enemy has your children. But just for that, God has given you the purpose. He has given you the strength for your hour of sorrow. Amen. God will be there in the time of your trouble. Pink is for our new tomorrow. Tomorrow we wake up and we thank God for the breath He gave us and we thank God for everything He's done for us. But that's for our new tomorrow. Not saying that tomorrow we're going to wake up, but I'm saying I knew tomorrow. When we get to heaven, the Sabbath has no end. Amen. When God said, come unto me, all who eat that live, and I'll give you rest. Amen. When we get over there, he said, well done, my good and faithful servant. Yeah. You have been faithful over a few things. Yeah. Now I'll make you rule over me. Amen. That's our new tomorrow. Amen. Amen. God has shown us favor. I don't know about you, but through his spirit, God has shown us favor. Favor. Yes. Please, the enemy can't mess with us any kind of way because God has shown us favor. The devil can't send objects our way that we can't defeat because God has shown us favor. Amen. It's a lot to get favor from God. It's a lot to get favor from man, but when you get favor from God, yes. it makes a difference. Yes. Yes. So on today, as you journey through life, as you journey through the obstacles of life, no matter what comes your way, you have in your mind, oh Lord, I need your spirit. Yeah. Every day I walk, yeah. every day I talk, yeah. every move I make, yeah. every strength I take, yeah. do it in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, I thank you yes. for your spirit. Yeah. Don't be like David. David was a man. He was a king of David, and yeah, he looked out to and as he looked out and asked her to bathe, he went in and had committed adultery with this woman. Amen. No good and well, it wasn't his wife, but he did. And as the man came home, he tried to persuade the man to go over there and do whatever he had to do with his wife to cover up for David's sin. But see, this is what I like about the, uh, Bathsheba's husband. Bathsheba's husband wasn't no fool. And as he said, he said, my men are out there to war. How can I sit up in here and have sex with my wife when my men are out there at war? I need to be praying for them. I need to be lifting up holy hands for them. All right. Amen. So when he went back to war, 
David went and got the commander of the war and he said, put him in the heat of the fire and draw back your men. See, sometimes that's what the enemy does. When he can't get you one way, he goes and gets the person above you. Put him in the heat of the war and draw back your men. But see, this is what I like about God. God put a guard around his yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Even though know, sometimes I'm not in the heat of the war, God puts a guard around yeah, yeah, your yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. That's why David had to confess to God. God, I committed sin. God, I done wrong. Yes, See, sometimes that's what we got to do. Right? Yeah. When we try to cover our, our mess uh, and yes. God doesn't let us cover it up, uh, sometimes we just need to fall flat on our face uh, yes. and say, God, I committed sin. Yes. I admit I did this. I admit I done that. But God created and me a clean spirit yes. and renew yes. the right of the spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, but keep me. Don't take your spirit away from me. Keep me under your wing. Keep me under what you would have me to do. Lord, walk with me. Lord, talk with me. Lord, do what you want to do in my life. That's what we need to do. Stop moaning and groaning about our situation. You are the one that's putting yourself in that predicament. Stop doing what you're doing and start doing what Christ wants you to do. Maybe it would be a lot easier. Maybe things would go a lot smoother. Amen. Amen. I've given you what God has given me. He told me to tell you on today, oh Lord, I need your spirit. Whatever I'm going through, oh Lord, I need your spirit. Standing all over the building, we're getting ready to do the invitation of God. God wants you to do. He wants for you to lift up your hands. And he wants you to tell God. He wants you to tell the Spirit. Yes, Lord. What I want. 